hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if this is your first time on visiting this channel i would like you to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you will get it as soon as possible all right if you're not part of my telegram community you just check the description box below the link to my telegram community is there just hit on it and become part of the flux forex community yeah so last week was a little bit slow for us yeah those of you in my telegram community were testified to it all right but it, aside that i mean even though it was slow for us we were able to catch about 300 plus bits on the market yeah it is what it is all right yes aside it being slow we were able to make some money on the market last week all right and i feel like it was due to those russia russia and then ukraine controversies yeah last week the controversies became so intense yeah so i think that really slowed the market it got to a point the market was not even moving yeah if you were on your chart last week you testified to this you get it yeah so i feel like that is how that is the reason why we had a very slow market last week yeah and going into this week i'm not really expecting so much on the market going to this to trust me because those controversies are still in the airwaves all right yeah and it can it, it really has a high probability of affecting the market yes the russia and the ukraine controversies it's really going to affect the market if things get worse all right so my advice for you is just manage your risks ensure that you risk use proper risk management on all your trades all right that is that is how that is that that is what i tell my community members all right that hey never forget your return especially during this period all right because that issue is so intense that if things get out of hand trust me they are, they are, we are going to see crazy things happening on the market so you wouldn't want to put your account in a jeopardy yes so that is that is just that all right so let's see as usual just as we do let's just see what the market has for us so far as these pairs are concerned all right yeah so first of all let's start with the dollar index all right so on a hard time frame we, we realized that the dollar index is what is bullish all right so last week we saw an expansion to the upside all right but let's see let's go to the lower time frame and see what is happening on the lower time frame that is on the four hour so just as we've seen all right we saw a little bit of what consolidation accumulation in here all right and we saw an expansion to the upside you get it so with the consolidation price left in somewhat equal lows here relative equal lows and, and you know relative equal lows or equal or something like that comes with a what with a liquidity so so just as you've seen an expansion here we want to see what a retracement so going into next week i'm really expecting to see a little bit of retracement to clear these lows into this other block you are seeing here all right into this other block you are seeing here and then we we we, we expect price to what to move to the upside from this point all right so going into next week I'm, i'll be a little bit bearish on the dollar index yes i'll be a little bit bearish on the dollar index going into next week all right well, i'm expecting these moves to be cleared yeah so I'll, I'll i'll be on the watch to see how price is going to react so far, the dollar index is concerned going into next week. All right. Yes. So let's look at what is happening on all USD. All right. Let's look at what is happening on all USD. Just as, I, just as I, I've been saying always. All right. Just as I've been saying always, I'm expecting some bearishness in the dollar index. So for the old USD to the up seat way around. But look at what is happening. Just look at what is happening on the old USD. We are seeing a different story on the old USD. All right. Yes. So for the USD pairs going into next week, I'm not going to be so much aggressive on those pairs. All right. Because it is really not painting the picture that I want to see. Yeah. So in situations like this, I don't become so much aggressive. All right. I don't become so much aggressive on that pair so going into next week with all the usd if i'll see some bearishness in the market i want to see this blue being clear let's let's go to the four hour time frame to see things clearer all right yes so if 
I'll see some bearishness in the market. I want to see this low being clear. This low. This low we are seeing here. I want to see price take out this low. Once it take out this low, then definitely it will attack this low. And then this one to as well into this area. You get it. Yeah. So going into next week, before I conclude my decision on a bearish move, I want to see this low being cleared. Once I see this low being cleared, then I'll, I'll start looking for sell opportunities to the downside, clearing this low and then this low. All right. But once I see price failing to clear this low, I'll still wait. All right. I'll still wait because if price fails to clear this low, then that means we'll be trading between this range, this range high, this range low. All right. Yes. Let's let me go a little bit lower. All right. For us to be able to identify the range very well. Uh -huh. So this was the low I was talking about. All right. That if price is able to clear this low, all right. If price is able to clear this low, then I'll be looking for a sell opportunity at that time. But if not able to clear this low, this low is able to hold price. All right. I'll still wait because if that happens, then that means price will be able to price will be trading in a range that is this range high and then either this low or maybe a low this low will be cleared and a low reward will be formed all right yes yeah. so i'll just look at the range in which price is trading and then try and then apply my discount and premium and equilibrium concept all right in that range and then see if i'll be able to catch some few pips on this trade all right yes yeah. so this move we we caught that that this move that was friday on in my vip here yeah, so at the end of the week getting some profit at the end of the week we needed some money for the weekend yeah we needed some money for the weekend so we were able to catch this this, this, this small bearish bearishness we are seeing and that was about 30 pips yeah so i mean that is that for old usd all right that is that for old usd so going into next week old usd i'm going to be very reluctant to understand all right i need to see whatever i need to see before i take any decisions without it then i'll just have to call it up and then look at a different pair so that is that for all usd let's look at what's happening on all gpy all right so last week with this pair we were expecting price to move to the upside yes it moved to the upside but it, it, it didn't reach the level that we we're expecting price to reach so at the end of the day we took half or we took a partial profit yeah, we took a partial profit and then we we called it we called it a week on despair all right but look at what is happening on the daily time frame all right look at what is happening on on the daily time frame we are seeing some form of even though it's still bullish all right even though it's still bullish price came to retest this other block and we moved to the to two the, the upside but look at what happened last friday this is what happened we saw price move to the upside and then we saw a quick rejection to the downside so going into next week this is what i'll be expecting i'll expect that price will move further all right we'll move further to the downside this uh -huh. i'm expecting that prices will move further to the downside into this other block and then we see price reverse to the upside clearing these highs yeah, so going into next week, I'm still bullish on all the GPY. All right, my 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 expectation will be invalid. Listen, my expectation will be invalid if price is able to violate this other block you are seeing here, violate this loop. All right, once it happens, then my expectation is going to be invalid. But once this other block is able to hold price, then just know that these highs are going to be attacked. So that is my expectation on on JPY going into next week. Let's look at what is happening on NZD JPY. Let's look at what is happening on NZD JPY too as well. All right. So just as I'm expecting on all JPY, my expectation to on NZD JPY too should be the same. All right. Yes, my expectation on all NZD JPY should be the same. Yeah. So going into next week, going into next week, I'm expecting price to. Uh, to come a little bit further into this other block and then we see price reject to the upside or if it breaks this other block i expect that this candle here this other block here should be able to hold price 
all right you yeah, should be able to hold price if it breaks this then my next point of focus is going to be here okay yeah so next week i'm going to be very particular about nzdjp where how it's going to react here or here or here all right it's still bullish yeah it's still bullish but as to where it's going to react from that is what i'm looking at yeah so going into next week this is my expectation on nzdjpy i'm still bullish on this pair yes so let's look at what is happening on nzd usd let's look at what is happening on nzd usd all right yes so this pair is looking bearish on the daily time frame all right it's looking bearish on a daily time frame but let's look at what is happening on hey sorry this is the four hour time frame all right yeah so it's looking bearish on the four hour time frame so let's look at what is happening on a daily look at what is happening daily just look at what is happening daily all right yeah, so last friday we saw price rejecting unable to what to break this high all right yeah so we saw some rejection to the downside so going into next week going into next week i'll expect to see a further a further retracement into this other block we are seeing here all right into this other block we are seeing here and then we see price reverse to the upside all right i told you earlier that the nzd is so strong all right and so trading the nzd and then the nzd usd is is is, is really it's a bit tough yeah it's a bit tough but this this is giving us some clear signs we get it so going into next week before i look for sell opportunities i want to see price break this low all right once it breaks this low clearly tells me that it will come in into the sort of thing. but it, if it fails to break this low if it fails to break this low then we will see price continuing to the upside all right yeah so that is my expectation on nzd usd going into next week let's look at what is happening on usd card for usd card last week we saw that consolidation happening all right so i told you that i'm expecting to see price break out of that consolidation so let's see what is happening on the daily time frame we are still in the consolidation <laughs> oh we are still in the consolidation so for usd card you're not touching that pair all right you're not touching that pair first look at what is happening on you on on a daily time frame we're still in consolidation so i mean at the end of the day you can only be taking some quick scalps on this pair all right and i'm not i'm not i'm not the scalper all right i'm not a scalper i'm not a scalper so i wouldn't be interested taking trade on this pair all right because on a high time frame we've seen some level of consolidation so i want to see a breakout of the consolidation where it breaks to all right either the upside or the downside i can't tell for now i want to see it first once i see it first then i'll, I'll be able to tell okay this is where my the market makers wants to move price to all right yeah so let's be patient on this pair all right going into next week i'm not going to touch it let's go what is happening on euro usd to us all let's go what is happening on euro usd all right so for euro usd this is what is happening all right this is what is happening euro usd going into next day for this pair just as i told you on the dollar index all right i'm expecting the opposite all right i'm expecting the opposite to happen on euro usd so that means i'm bearish all right i'm bearish on euro usd so going into next week going into next week i'll expect this low be taken out so you see what what happened all right last week i told you i told you last week that i was expecting to see price break all right i was expecting to see price break out of this range all right so currently we are still in this range this high and this low all right yeah so i will only only be convinced of a sell bias if i see price violate this other block all right come back and retest those other blocks. As, 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 as i told you last week retail this other block and we see price move the downside into this area all right yes so i think if it happens that is going to be around 
the 130 pips which is very cool all right yeah so going into next week that is my expectation on gbp usd that is my expectation on gbp sorry euro usd yeah that is my expectation on euro usd let's look at what is happening on gbp usd let's look at what is happening on gbp usd all right so for gbp usd we are also seeing some form of what bearishness on gbp usd all right yes you are seeing some form of bearishness on gbp usd so going into next week i will expect to see price look at what is happening what happened consolidation and then we saw an ex expansion all right so an expansion to the upside and we are seeing some of distribution so with this i'm expecting that this low will be read it all right i'm expecting that this low will be read it yes so going into next week i'll be looking for sell opportunities i'll be looking for sell opportunities on gbp usd all right i'm looking for sell opportunities on gbp usd looking for sell opportunities on gbp usd so that is my expectation on gbp usd going into next week last but not the least let's go what is happening on gbp jpy yes so last week we took some trade on gbp gbp jpy yeah we had to take partial profit because price didn't really move to our target so we go to the middle and I asked my VIP members to close the trade first. I suspected a reversal and this reversal happened last Friday. Yeah, we saw this reversal happen last Friday. So going into next week, I'm expecting this other block. Alright. If this other block is able to hold price, we will see price moves to the upside. But if not able to hold this price, if it breaks this low. Then I'm sorry, we are we'll be able to we'll see some bearishness to the downside, clearing this low and then this low. Alright, yes, clearing this low and this low, and even this liquidity here. Alright, once this other block fails to hold price, then we should know that all this liquidity here are going to be attacked. Yes, so going into next week, price is still looking bullish. Though. Yes, price still looking but hey, anything can happen in the market. All right, yes, anything can happen in the market. So going into next week, I'm expecting this other block to hold price if the bullish run will still continue. All right, if it, if it doesn't continue, then this other block will be violated. Once it get violated, I'll start looking for an opportunity to the downside, clearing this loop, and then that's what these ones. Yes, so that is my expectation on GBP JPY. All right, guys. So that is that is that for next week. All right, and that is that for next week. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please, and please again, just do me that favor. All right, do me that favor by hitting the subscribe button and smashing on the notification bell. All right, just just do me this favor. It's 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 really important. All right, and let and let me see the likes. Let me see the comments coming. Yes, let me see the likes. Let me see the comments coming and try and share to as well all right yes so that is just that for next week all right i wish you a good luck and good trading i'll come your way again another time bye